we now have an understanding of the environment that existed at our football team's headquarters. Calling it toxic would be an understatement. And unacceptable just barely scratches the surface. No one should have to spend their daily commute into work knowing they're going to have to face another long day of harassment, another day of lewd comments, sexual advances, and lunch hours spent crying in bathrooms. Workplace culture and environment begin at the top. And if a bully who allegedly amused himself by making his employees do cartwheels is setting it, then predators will, of course, feel they have open season. It takes very little effort to treat others with dignity and respect. If this organization is looking for a new standard, then its leaders need to come correct and hold themselves fully accountable. And it shouldn't take notes from a law firm to figure out how to do this.